What's up guys, it's Madstar back again with a really, really exciting video today. Today we're going to be looking at one of the most talked about stocks this week and that's none other than Fubo TV stock. I'm going to be giving my opinion on whether I'm buying and what price I think it's going to go to. So first of all, what happened to Fubo TV stock? Well, right around last week, it was trading at $60 a share uh, with the price target of 60 from Needham and uh, Laura Martin, but then another analyst gave it an $8 target. So then we saw the stock fall almost 45% and today it's lost its momentum falling around 12% a, a stock. So what do I personally think about Fubo TV? Well, I'm buying this stock. I really believe in Fubo TV because I love sports. I think it's gonna be the Netflix of sports. And I think that it has run up quite a lot. I mean, it was at $10. Uh, some time back and it's gone up let's say 600 percent but i think it's one of those downtrends and now it's gonna kind of consolidate in these 30 regions and i do think that it's gonna continue its uptrend because this is some momentum in the market the whole streaming market is gaining some momentum we saw disney plus you saw netflix and you've seen a big, big run up in Fubo TV stock. But I bought 20 shares of the average price of 39.72 in this account. So I am willing to buy more stocks. I know 20 shares is not that much, but maybe with my other account, I'm probably gonna buy more. Um, a little bit of a technical analysis. I think this 30 region over here had some sort of a um, resistance back over in 14th of December. And I, I'm, I'm actually gonna make one line because uh, for you guys to see so this price level over here. Does it like make something? Okay, wait hold up hold up hold up hold up guys hold up. So here we got the um, Okay, wait, there's something really really annoying about my Tasty works. Okay, here we go. Here we go so here about we see a support in my opinion there could be a breakup to the downside so that is something to look after um over down over here my 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 system's pretty much glitched for some reason i'm sorry about that guys but we saw this resistance back in 14th of december and if we continue this line over here we're gonna see some sort of a support and if the support breaks out i'm afraid the stock could continue falling as it's fallen already 12 percent so I, i'm pretty confident we'll see some sort of a consolidation or support here we saw that the momentum is below this blue line and the momentum back in uh, its highs of 60 were quite high, went back down a bit. But this momentum for some reason started to come up even though the stock hasn't really risen. So there is some need to watch for consolidation here in my opinion. Uh, and in the long term, I really believe in this company and I don't personally use Fubo TV my, myself. I, I live in the Netherlands, so I don't have this service available for me. But I, I believe as F Fubo TV expands internationally, it can get an advantage. And one of the reasons why Fubo TV got the $60 target from Needham was because you know that these games like NFL or rugby or I don't know any other sport, they always have commercial breaks in in between, right? And Netflix, they don't have commercial breaks in between movies, you know? So there's an idea that Fubo TV is going to be getting more advertisements in the middle of a game. So let's say cricket, it's an Indian, okay, it's a, it's a British game, but like every over there's an advertisement and there you can place an ad and Fubo TV can get revenue from there and Fubo TV can get um, revenue from other sources like the actual streaming uh, payment per month it would receive. I believe it's uh, it's kind of expensive right now. I, I'll have to check it one more time. So that's it for there, but we've got some other competitors like Hulu, but I don't think any of these actually do sports. And with the sport gaming market rising, uh, we saw DraftKings at $50 from $10. So the betting market has been legalized in America. And I think it's uh, it's quite, quite interesting because I think a lot of people are going to be coming into this market and placing bets on sports. I mean, I would do sports betting. I, I mean, everyone likes to make money and, you know, gamble and stuff. I'd rather go to a uh, uh, do sports betting at home than go to a casino, in my opinion. That's my opinion. I'm probably not even 18. I'm actually not 18. So I can't do either of these things. I probably can't even do trading, but I can. So that's kind of weird. You get it? Um, 
but uh, I'm I'm planning to buy more Fubo TV shows. It's it's come to a point that I think it's pretty attractive right now. I mean, it has run up a lot, but uh, things come down from its hype and people start to say, oh, the stock's going to crash, the stock's going to crash. Well, if it could go up all the way to 60 and it's not something like a fraud like Nikola, I'm pretty sure it can continue its uptrend. The reason that Nikola started to collapse from $80, now it's, I think, what, $15, $10, is because that it had no things in sale. It wasn't selling any any cars, any trucks, it had zero revenue, uh, probably for the next three years, it's gonna have zero revenue, uh, Nikola Corporation. So I do think that Fubo TV, which has uh, revenue and it's growing its revenue, has great projections for the next few years, is a better buy than a stock like Nikola, which was a big fraud, guys. I mean, Tre uh, Trevor Milton, I don't know what that guy was doing. He just rolled the truck down uh, with nothing inside, okay? So let's just forget about Nikola, but like, I know um, I know a lot of people can be afraid to buy these things, but in my opinion, I, I'm not going to be too afraid, and I think it's a great buying opportunity uh, for me personally. Um, if it falls more, I'm going to actually kind of wait to see where the next consolidation might be. Maybe it's this 25 line you saw for quite some time for two weeks. It traded between 25 and 30, so it might consolidate in these regions. So... I think that's it for this video. Um, I don't know if you guys have any questions. If you guys have any questions, um, I think you guys can comment down below. And uh, for the YouTube algorithm, yes, yes, guys, yes. You guys got to like the video, guys. Like the video so I can get some more views and get some more money from YouTube. Just kidding. Okay, okay, okay. With jokes aside, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.